El Nino is the warming of the equatorial waters off the west coast of South America influences, changes weather patterns. We've seen that. This was last October. And this is indicating warmer than average water temps. Look what we have now. Blue. You know what blue indicates? Below average water temps. That's really a La Nina, the exact opposite. Well, hurricane season's different. When you have a year that's not affected by El Nino, you tend to have more hurricanes. Well, last year we had El Nino certainly cut the number way on down. One point to add, though, it doesn't affect pretty much the central or eastern Atlantic. It has minimal effects on those long-track hurricanes. First tropical storm of the Atlantic season, 1998, Tropical Storm Alex. We have winds around the center of circulation at 40 miles per hour. It could become a stronger tropical storm over the next uh, 72 hours. but steady progress toward landfall along the North Carolina coast. And as it does so, the rain continues to fall, the seas continues to rise, and there is flooding reported. is Hurricane George, which is, again, a Category 4, very powerful hurricane, winds 150 miles per hour. But even so, things lately have been extremely active, very unusual. And in fact, right now, we have four hurricanes to talk about. First of all, we have Hurricane George, which continues to work its way across the Florida Keys at this time. Then we also, though, have Hurricane Ivan and Carl, a little bit farther out towards the Atlantic Basin. And last but not least, Hurricane Jean.
You do have a very powerful Category 5 hurricane. Hurricane Mitch winds 180 miles per hour. This was a uh, big season for us and it wraps up today with a, an above average number of storms, 14 to be exact, and in fact the season in terms of human lives lost was one of the deadliest in over 200 years, uh, primarily due to Hurricane Mitch.